MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's Game 5 of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Danny, this is still anyone's series here as we get ready for game five. And guys, I'm going to be sorry to see this series come to an end. You've got to love a series that comes down to the final game. And seeing the push and pull struggle between these two teams over the last four games has been a lot of fun. We're in for a great one here in game five. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Kenta Maeda has the ball for the fifth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Kenta Maeda, you're going to see a lot of off speed pitches from Maeda. 88 to 91 miles an hour not a terrific fastball good split finger good slider he's one of those guys that pitches backwards what do I mean by that Matt he will throw fastballs in breaking ball situations and he'll throw off speed pitches when he's behind the count two and oh or two and one he pitches backwards DJ LeMahieu is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Little chopper down the first baseline. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now at the plate, Gio Urshela. First pitch coming, here it is. Well, we might be ice skating before we're through tonight. 39 degrees at first pitch. Now the 1 0 is laid off for ball two. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. One out, nobody on. Three and one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count, and it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Now the first pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. The 0-2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back on it is the left fielder. Gone! Yeah. 
So a two-run shot to left center, and this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. They take the lead. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 oh now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. 2 and 1. Swing and this is also hit well out to deep center gone back to back homers a solo home run there for Aaron Judge his second home run of the series as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Standing in now, Luke Voigt. The first baseman. As he'll take a look at ball one. Three runs already home here. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Oh. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet six inches. So now here is Giancarlo Stanton. Now the first pitch. There's the sinker to start him out missing down and away for ball one. Hey this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath something can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge not only himself his defense and especially his manager. Hey guys he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put good wood on it. At the plate Clint Frazier. Chopper foul. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the 0 1. To the left side, but it's well foul. Grounded to the right. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. 
Well, there's a case, not that bad of a pitch, 0-2 to D-roll, but something he'd like to get down and bury in the strike zone, no doubt about it. Yeah, ground ball with eyes right there. Nice job by the offensive player, just, just to battle. 0-2 is a tough spot to be in. He battled. Next to hit, Kyle Higashioka. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. As a look, now the pitch. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Yankees lead it three to nothing. Garrett Cole gets the call in game five of the series. What do we need to know here Danny. Yeah Matt his last start wasn't a particularly good one lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss. He's a much better pitcher than that and I think he's looking to at least hopefully pitch into the sixth or seventh inning in this one. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He'll well, leave things win. off here in the bottom half of the that's first. Shortstop. Andrelton. Simmons. The pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's one and zero. Oh. And the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Frazier is right there. One down. Batting second. No left fielder. David. Dahl. No one on with one down. And into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. First pitch on the way. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. One out, nobody on. Two and one to David Dahl. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Fastball three. strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And with two away we'll take a look at our that playoff bracket and the obviously after man. tonight one of these Wait. two teams will see their logo Fair move on into that empty spot in the AL championship series. Which one will it be. Ready now is Whit Merrifield. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Now here's the pitch. And he lays off there, 1 0. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back goes Stanton at the track. The wall. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot here for Whit Merrifield. His second home run of the series. And the Twins are on the board now. It's a three to one ball game. Ah, man, that swing right there, Dan, that had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today. You know, and that'll rattle you a little bit. This guy's been throwing the ball great, one of the top pitchers in the game. He's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats. Here's Nelson Cruz now. 
As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. One strike now from Cole. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. But not before they're able to at least get one back on the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now a 3-1 ball game. All set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Tyro Estrada. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. Second inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1-0. This is skied into short left center. Simmons is calling for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now battle. The second baseman. DJ LeMay. So one down, no one aboard. And that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Lifted in the air to center. And two quick outs here in the second. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Now here's the first offering. And this is low, ball one. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one two three and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's popped up. And no one will track it down. The one one. is taken for strike two. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Three and two now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three, and it's still three to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Donaldson. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. 
And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And that's out number one. Batting six. The right fielder, Max Kepler. Now one down with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. First pitch of the AB now. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Misses, ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Fouled away. The next three, two. And he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Another one sent foul. The next three, two. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Down the third baseline. The 3 2 one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. That Every hitter thinks that, hey, the they catcher. can do something with that. But most of the time, Garber. you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. So now to the plate, Mitch Garver. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the, the zone right there, ball. below the knee. Hello. Offensive player was all over. That brings up Alex Kirillov as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away the one oh hit hard but a foul ball one and one. Fouled off. Garver is off a of first with two away. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two.
working for the punch out and the offering. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Uh, 2 2 one more time. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Twins wind up stranding one. Score holds. It's three to one. Top of the third set to get underway. And digging in is the big time power threat, Labor Torres. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. This is on the ground over to first, but that finds its way through for a base hit. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he will beat the throw home. It's a four to one score now. You love the aggressive base running right there. It's not easy to make that throw and give that catcher time to adjust his feet and get that tag down. No, a very aggressive send right there. You take a chance. You hope the throw is a little bit offline, and that paid off right there. to the plate now Luke Voigt as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far oh and one here it comes swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over it's 0 and 2 hey you know the pitcher right now he's looking for that best friend that double play ball this is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. And it's fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. A runner at first with no outs here. A ball and two strikes. Lifted down the line and left. On the run is Dahl. He's there and records the first down. So next to bat will be Giancarlo Stanton. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Splitter swung on and missed 0 and 1. For most people, being down 0 1 would seem like a lot. But this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. Runners on first with one down. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. And here he is in the third inning. Trouble again. He's just not able to find that comfort zone out there.
Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Runner at first here, one man out. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Up next, Clint Frazier. He collected a base hit his first time up. From the belt, kicks and deals. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Up next to the Yankees. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. At the plate now, Kyle Higashioka. And he puts it on the ground to second. Merrifield picks it up. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, and Dan Plezak back win. with you as Byron Buxton readies to lead off the Byron. inning. Buxton. First pitch of the AB on its way. Byron Buxton is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work. But now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. <laughs> Fouled away. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Andrelton Simmons is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1-0. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Nope. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's two and oh. Swing and a liner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. 
count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he didn't Delicious. miss it. Double nice swing ball. right there, driving Thank it you. into the outfield for a knock. Ball. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Simmons, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Two and oh to the Twins left fielder. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Now the 2-0 is looked at for the first strike. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The 3-1. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next for Minnesota, Whit Merrifield. Stretch. Here's the pitch. Taken, but called a strike. A runner on first with two away. Base hit into right center. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home yes, runs. Sir. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well though because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. Unable to find the zone with the slider. One and oh, here it is. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2-0. You give this hitter count leverage, he probably tries to ambush a fastball. 1-1 one, one count, he's got to really think through this and have a great game plan. And the second run is across as well, and they've cut this to one at 4-3. to three. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason, and it looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. High in the air down the right field line. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. More on tap from game five after this. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 
Tyro Estrada digging in now. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The pitch. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The one two. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Simmons onto the grass. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the 1 0 is swung on missed in that strike one. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. 1 and 2 to DJ LeMayhew. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. This one's down to third. Donaldson's up with it. And there's out number two. So now into the box is Gio Urshela. He flew out in his last A.B. Now here's the first offering. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Bombers. But they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Bottom of the player. inning now. And coming Boy forward, field. the veteran outfielder, Matt. Max Kepler. Kepler. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In there, 0-1. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Is the high outside corner one and two now? Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Full count to Max Kepler. Three balls and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. The next 3-2. 
is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The catcher, Digging eight. in will be Mitch Garver, singled in his Garver. last at bat. First pitch on its way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to hump up on a fastball and sailed on it. 3 and 0 to him now. Into the windup and the pitch. Slider finds the zone for a strike. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Payoff pitch one more time. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, yeah, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Stepping in now, Alex Kirilov. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And that misses one and one. A two ball one strike count to the Twins first baseman. Three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. He loses him on ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So that will bring in Byron Buxton. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. A shot down the first baseline. Oh, and he whiffs on it at first. It's right by him into right. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't well, miss it right there. Ball. Hammer job. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Runs coming fast and furious here. 4-3 our score as we play the fourth. Just keeping him close. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. The 0-2 fouled off. 
Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Twin strand a pair. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First pitch coming, here it is. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. inside 2 and 0 you never want to fall behind as a pitcher but doing it to a guy like this is even worse he's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now outside 3 and 0 now And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. set and the pitch sends that one out of play for strike one swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field Dolph's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. And now here is Luke Voigt flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 1 1 home. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front side in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw the front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Matt Shoemaker has given the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. Hit hard toward first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. On to second, but he's in safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. 
Frazier. Into the box now, Clint Frazier. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Three and oh now. And that one right down Main Street. I can't imagine that pitcher was trying to put it right over the heart of the plate. Thank God he took that pitch right there or he'd be getting one back from the umpire. Hits this one hard the other way. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now that Stepping in next Kyle Higashioka. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 0 and 1 delivery. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Stanton on third with two out. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead it six to three. David Dahl to the plate now. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. The left fielder, David. And now Dahl. pitch on the way. Lifted the other way to left center. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. So one out and nobody aboard. And with Merrifield will dig in at the plate. Merrifield. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Hit in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now back. So the next to bat will be Nelson. Nelson Cruz. He singled and drove home two his last time. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with the knuckle curve and he swings through it for strike one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Popped him up. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Twins are set down 1 2 3. They're still doubled up. It's 6 3. Now in the box, Tyro Estrada. He's 0 for 2 Estrada. thus far in this one. Tyro Estrada. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Pitch is popped up. Kirillov in foul ground, but this will land untouched. 
And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. Down low and the plot thickens here three and zero. Oh. Into the windup and the pitch. And that misses for ball four. Now batting third base. Gio Next it'll be Gio Urshela grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah Matty expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground the way this defense is they could certainly roll to. Ball one to start the at bat. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. Two and two. Hit hard up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove now on it. Hard single up the middle. Hit. Yeah, watch your Lee lips Brewer. right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Glaber Torres will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. From the belt kicks and deals. Awesome execution right there. Great pitchers pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. On its way the 0 1 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to get to that quickly, though, and the count will even at one. LeMahieu over at second. Urshela at first, one gone. Hit hard down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. The runner scores from second. Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far, D. Rowe. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. In now, Aaron Judge. And it's fouled away. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball one and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here's 
Here's a swing and a miss at the hard splitter, even at two. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Dahl has to cover some ground, but he gets there, and there are two gone. Stepping up is Luke Voigt. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering. A swing and a ground ball to third. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. A run on two hits for the Yankees. To the bottom of the sixth inning. The Yankees lead this one seven to three. Davy Garcia enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and here's Donaldson. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson. First pitch on its way. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Good curveball. Strike two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Again, another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed, strike three. The bat. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And now Kepler belts one. Carrying well out to right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot down the line in right. His second home run of the series. And it's now a 7-4 ball game. is something you don't see every day it had the distance the second it left the bat but it was anybody's guess whether it was going to be fair or foul that is until it clanked off the top of the foul pole no question or controversy now that's an impressive homer eight. at the plate Mitch Garver as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty one man out. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Too high, and it's 3-0. and Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And the count will be full. Now the three and two pitch. And another foul ball. The next three, two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Now that. 
the next win up, Alex Kirillov. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this solo home run. The six, seven, eight hitters coming up to start the seventh. It's now seven to four. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's two for three and looking for more here. The left fielder, Giancarlo. First pitch on its way. Nope. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out, sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Two balls and a strike. <laughs> Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Stanton on his way up to second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Cody Stashak comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Standing in now, Clint Frazier as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. So far, two for three in this one. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh. Kyle Higashioka waits on deck. Payoff pitch home. Fouled away. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Next to hit is Kyle Higashioka. He went down on strikes last time up. 
Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. He's set. Here it comes. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch. And he misses again. Ball three. Tyro Estrada will be next. Three one is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Stanton leads off second with one gone in the inning. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a liner caught out there by Simmons. And that will become out number two. Now that Next for New York, Tyro Estrada, Tyro. runner in scoring position Estrada. with Sugan. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. One and one. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit, we got ourselves some action. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Fouls this one off. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for the Yankees. They hold a seven to four lead. Last half of the seventh here, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Byron Buxton. The center fielder, Byron. First pitch Buxton. coming, here it is. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off, it's one and one. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Hit on the ground out to short. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. At the plate now, Andrelton Simmons, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now a move over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game.
Here it comes on nothing and two. Now that's popped up, and they'll put the tag on him heading back to first. It's a double play. Doesn't happen often throughout the course of the season, but right there, you talk about having awareness, taking advantage of a team that's maybe sleepwalking a little bit on the base pass. Unbelievable job to get two outs for the price of one in that situation. To the plate now, David Dahl. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. Softly hit down the line. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in the second with a two out double. Man, that swing looked like self defense oh, and a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Whit Merrifield next to hit. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. And he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on deck circle. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Dahl stands at second with two gone. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball, one and two now. In the dirt, throw goes to third, and oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Two outs here with a runner at third. Dribbled up the line. That's a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hit to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for Minnesota. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Hansel Robles has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. So the lineup flips over and digging in D.J. LeMayhew lifetime against this particular arm. He's one for five. From the stretch. strike and now it's 0 and 2 as we near the end of this one it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome Dan Dero what are your final thoughts on what we've seen yeah just non competitive pitches in some big situations Dan and the offense took full advantage yeah, you know Dero one of the things about pitching is you want to have location and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point and what happens when that happens hitters make you pay and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Here comes the one two he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes. Now at the plate here is Gio Urshela. he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's ready here's the first pitch and a fastball close but ultimately ruled a ball at one and oh. And he 
looks at a changeup in there, one and one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. One out, nobody on. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Right side hit hard. And this will get through into right. And he's aboard with a single. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Labor. Next up will be Glaber Torres. And a ball 1-0. Robles comes at hitters with a good hard fastball one that's certainly fun to watch. He's a throwback to kind of guys that he likes his fastball. It's a good fastball not the best fastball in the game and he's not afraid to throw it. And you know what else Matty V he goes right at the hitters lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one one home. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that's a home run into the top tank. It's a two run shot to straight away left. His second home run of the game as this is now a five run cushion. We're watching an impressive power display today. With that one, these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game. Yeah, Matty B, you don't see this very often, d -Row, when it's cold and chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. Aaron Judge is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Fouled off. Now the 0 2 pitch. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Still only one out in the inning. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Into the box now, Luke Voigt, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's got one hit in four at bats. And there's ball one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup.
ready to deliver the one and two. <laughs> now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Yankees nine and the Twins four. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the DH, Nelson Cruz. Nelson. Cruise. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. one, ball, one yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And it's 1 and 2. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batting. Josh Third Donaldson eight. digging in now. Yep. No hits in three tries so far. Donaldson. He struck out once. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Nope. Bases are empty. One man out. High and deep to right center. Judge is on his horse. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next to stand in is Max Kepler. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Pitch on the way. In there for strike one. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Now the pitch. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it here 9-4. to four. Randy Dobnik enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Dobnek was born in the state of Pennsylvania. He's in his third season as a major league player. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Garver over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. Next up is Clint Frazier. He's got two hits in four at bats. First delivery to him. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. 
Now the Twins are going to get a lefty up and throwing in the bullpen. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Ball one. One out, nobody on. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Down the left field line and deep. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Inside, he misses ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in next, Kyle Higashioka. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Look out. 2 and 0 oh now. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Now the 2 0. -oh. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Here it comes, the 3 0. -oh. Is taken strike one. That's popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Frazier stands at first with one out. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. I know one thing he earned no, no. that free pass right the there. He was tempted with I some know. really good pitches but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Next it'll be Tyro Estrada looking to change his fortunes here 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. First pitch of the A.B. now this is line to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Now that second base, DJ Now into the box, DJ LeMayhew, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. The throw home. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Yanks strand a pair. They're on top, however, nine to four. Aroldis Chapman takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Leading off for the twin, the catcher. Stepping in now, Mitch, Mitch Garver. Garver. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the Number first down. Number 19. Alex. So here is Alex Kirilov. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. 
Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Here's Byron Buxton now as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Lifetime line against Chapman. He's hitless in three at bats. Tries to drop one down here but he misses strike two. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Now the 1 and 2 pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Kirilov, base runner at first with one out. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I really liked that he gave up nibbling out of the zone trying okay. to get him to chase. That That's wasn't working, so he just reached and back and fair. fired a good old country hardball yeah, fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Andrelton Simmons. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Here's the first pitch. Andrelton Simmons is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 now. Two out with the man at first. Two zero is a fastball, not close. He's behind three and zero now. That one's in there, three and one. Stealing that strike on three zero was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I gotta believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. The 3-1 pitch. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He struck him out, and that'll do it as they've won this series, so they'll move on. Well, they know their work is nowhere close to being finished, but they've handled their business so far, winning here to punch their ticket to the next round and a possible trip to the World Series. Well done. For the left-hander Dan Plezak, Mark DeRosa, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been the American League Division Series. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, nine runs on.